My name is Peach, let me not waste your time. Today I'll be showing you what power bins are, how to use them, and how to save them properly to make sure that they won't glitch out. So what are power bins? Power bins are a separate bin in your media pool that allows you to reuse any media, adjustment clips, or fusion clips in your software for any project that you're working on. You see me commonly use this to store my adjustment clips so I can take them out of my power bin. So when I go into fusion, you can see that they start at the correct frame rate right over here. If you do not see the power bins tab in the media pool over here, all you have to do is go up to view, Go down to show power bins and click that on, and then you'll have this pop up on the left side. From here, once you have it, you can go into it and add new bins. So by right clicking the media pool, going down to new bin, and then typing the bin, name it whatever you want, and then you could save whatever you want into those power bins and say, I have a adjustment clip with a skew shake on here like this. So I can put this in my power bin and I also have this photo right here that I can also put in my power bin right here. Now, if I open up a new timeline or go into a different project, you can see that I can drag this out from this media pool and it'll show up wherever I want it. Now, the way I would organize my power bins is by having one big bin that houses everything else and I can put power bins into there. Let's do like power bin and then today's date or something like that or your name. Let's do that. And then we could put bins in here and then also our other clips if we want, but I usually keep those on the original page. So I have quick access to them just by hitting my power bin and then I can drag it wherever I want like that and it goes there. And then here we could add more bins and organize other things that we have. But now I need to warn you about the glitch, which still seems to be active in Resolve 18 according to this forum page about it. There's a glitch that happens where some of your power bins are get overwritten by the program files in DaVinci and there's no way to get them back. For me, this glitch happens either when I have a project crash really badly on me, when I use third party plugins other than Reactor, or when I'm using the power bins and moving other bins around around inside them. But generally this glitch can happen randomly, so I'm going to show you how to export your bins. If you already have things in your power bins already, it's easy. All you have to do is open a new project, go to one of your bins, select all the media that's inside it, right click it, and then say insert selected clips to timeline. Make one right here, and then all the clips will go into this timeline right here, and then you can save everything that's in your power bin into a project. You just do this for all your bins that you have. Once you've done that, make sure all your bins are in one power bin, and then you can drag this bin into the master media pool in your project, and then from here you can right click it and then go down to export bin and save it to whatever folder you like. I have a dedicated bin to save my power bins in. And I just hit save. Now this makes sure that all your clips will be saved and they won't be deleted by this glitch. Now in order to import your bin back into DaVinci, just go to the file where you saved your bins at, click the bin and drag it into your original media pool over here, just like that. It'll take some time to load and you can click it and check what's inside it. You have all your stuff here, just like that. And then you, once you're good with it, you can drag it into your power bins over here. And now you have everything saved and backed up. So if you ever lose it again, you will not lose it again. Otherwise, that's how you use power bins. If you're interested in learning about more tips just like power bins, click this video right here and I'll show you some more.